Stacey Abrams visited Central Georgia today as part of her Jobs for Georgia tour. And in Macon, she made several stops at small businesses. Ensley Nichols followed Abrams as she made her way around town. Former member of Georgia House of Representatives Stacey Abrams enters her second and final day of her Jobs for Georgia tour, ending it with a trip to Macon. As part of her platform, she wants to strengthen small businesses in Georgia. Abrams is a former small business owner, and if elected, she plans to invest $10 million into Georgia's small businesses. Too many communities that have been waiting for 16 years for investment and for service and for support. Well, I'm here to tell you the time is now and I'm the one who's going to get it done. Stacey Abrams is visiting small businesses all across Georgia and she made a pit stop here at Felicia's Cake Factory. She wants to talk to small business owners to hear about their struggles and also show her support in another way by buying what they're selling. A strawberry fish pop. Abrams also wants to expand Medicaid in Georgia, decrease incarceration rates, and increase spending on education. I'm not running against anyone. I'm running for Georgia. Right. In Macon, Inslee Nichols, 13 WMAZ News. If elected in November, Abrams would become the first ever African-American woman to be the governor in the United States. And on the other side of the aisle, Brian Kemp is now the Republican nominee for governor. He will face off against Stacey Abrams this November. Kemp beat out Casey Cagle in the Republican runoff election just last week, gathering more than 50 percent of the vote and forcing Cagle to concede. Kemp received the endorsement of President Donald Trump less than two weeks ago, highlighted by a visit from Vice President Mike Pence to Macon on July 21st. Kemp will continue his Georgia First platform over the next few months with hopes of keeping Georgia red for another two years.